Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Desert Easy Achievement Diary tasks. The quest requirement is to have started Ignorance Little Helper, but if you've not started that quest, that is no problem, we can just start it while doing these tasks. Skill requirements are 521 thieving. Items needed are a bird snare, any kind of pickaxe, two ropes, a knife, 610 GP, full desert including the shirt, rope and boots, and any kind of grimy herb. For the recommended items is a dual ring of at least three charges, one filled water skin, uh, some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion would be helpful. Then we will also need to have some food or prayer points to pass uh, Calphite soldiers of combat 85. And because they are poisonous, one antidote or anti-poison potion will be helpful. Next, we also need to have a weapon to kill a flying combat 31 with 10 HP. You could use melee, but then the vulture will need to be grounded. So it is recommended to use a range or magic attack method. You don't need to get your armor and weapons right now to kill that vulture. We will bank in Narda before we're heading towards those. Next is if you have not started the Ignorance of the Help quest, to start that quest you will need to bring an extra water skin, a tinderbox and a cat of any size. Alright, let's start with the first task, equip your full desert and go through Chanty Pass, but first let's buy a pass. And let's then go through Chanty Pass and this will be task number one completed. Next, let's run southeast and we will need to cross the bridge. Pass aggressive level 42 camels. Just keep going east southeast towards uh, River Elit and go to the bridge. After we have crossed the bridge, we will need to go east until we see a hunter sign. Go towards that hunter sign and here we will find orange salamanders and we should also find some yellow birds. Go somewhere near the yellow birds and lay your birds now. And now we just need to wait for a golden warbler to sit on your birds there. Alright, this actually took way too long. Check your bird snare and get your second task completed. Next, let's go north. Just north of the hunter sign, we will need to go all the way north to that mining sign. East of the mining sign, if you check your minimap, will be a couple of clay rocks. Keep going north and here we should find three clay rocks. Let's mine one of these rocks and we'll need to do this uh, five times. Alright, and it is your third task completed. Let's drop your clay, maybe bury the bones, drop the feathers and the bird meat. And next to the clay rocks, we should find two healthy Kendrin cacti. Let's use a knife on one of them. To add an extra dose of water in our water skin. And this will be task number four. Next, let's teleport to Dual Arena and get back to Chanty Pass. Alright, here in Chanty Pass, let's go to the bank 
and you may deposit your pickaxe, it's not needed anymore. If you have plenty of water skins, you actually don't need your desert anymore. I prefer to wear uh, rage reducing armor instead of desert gear. They may also deposit your bird snare, your knife, your clay. Be sure to take an antidote or an anti-poison potion and also some food because now we will need to pass some aggressive Calphite soldiers. But be sure to have at least 4 empty inventory slots. After collecting 5 potato cacti we will teleport ourselves back to the dual arena. So first let's go through the Chanty Pass but first buy another pass. And let's go through the Chanty Pass and go west. Maybe drink a stamina potion dose and just keep going west until we see the dungeon sign. Here at the dungeon sign, let's use the rope on the tunnel entrance and climb down. And let's follow the path. This is also task number 5 completed. Now we just need to follow this dungeon. When you see a Calphite soldier, just uh, use Protect for melee or just simply run past them. Here in a room just uh, west of the path, you will find three red dots on your minimap. Let's collect the three potato cacti. Now what you also can do is just drop one and pick it back up. And then drop one again and pick it back up until you have picked up five potato cacti and then let's quickly teleport back to dual arena and let's return to Chanty Pass. If you got poisoned, drink an antidote. Alright, here back at the bank, you may deposit your uh, potato cacti and everything else we actually still need. Let's also take an extra 5 GP because we will need to buy another uh, Chanty Pass and let's go through Chanty Pass. And let's now go a little bit southeast and take the carpet right to Polnev Nietzsche, the third option. This will be task number 7 out of 11 completed. Okay, here in Polnif Nietzsche, let's go south to the other carpet right cellar. At this rock emergent, let's travel to Narda. Once you've arrived to Narda, let's go a little bit east and just east of the general store we should find a Herblor sign. Let's enter this building and here we should find Zahor. Let's right click and choose the clean option. 
yes for 200 GP. They are all done and this is task number 8 completed. Next let's go south and now we may deposit our herb and grab our range or magic attack method to kill a combat 31. You might also want to bring a little bit of food because now we'll need to do a pyramid plunder run. You also don't need any more coins anymore, you don't need your herb. So be sure to bring a weapon to kill a flying comet 31, small amount of food for pyramid plunder, a dual ring to complete our tasks. And then also if you've not started the Eclorus little help quest, you will need to grab your cat right now, as well as your filled water skin and a tinderbox. Once you have all this, let's go west. Now we just need to keep going west until we see a vulture. At the black corner of the end of the map, let's go a little bit uh, southwest. Not completely west, but uh, west-southwest. We just need to go northwest of the pyramid plunder and here we should find a couple of vultures. Let's kill one. They only have 10 HP. This will be task number 9 completed. Next, let's go west. If you've not started Ikleron's little hell quest, let's start this right now by going to the quest sign just south of this mine. Drop your cat and start the quest by talking to the wanderer. If you've not completed the quest, but you have started it already, just go a little bit northeast of the tent and here you should find a rock which you can enter. This way you can enter Sofenum without having the need to complete that quest. And because I don't want to run all the way to the gate of Sofenum, let's also just enter this rock to enter the city of the dead. If you've just started Ikrimus Little Hell Quest, you will now have a canopic jar in your inventory. You may simply drop it and once you decide to complete this quest, you just need to touch the cat door where you've just spawned and you will get your jar back. Next, let's go a little bit north or east if you have uh, gone through the rock and go to the pyramid plunder pyramids. Let's search one of the four doors. If the mummy is not there, let's search going through another door. Oops, here he is. The mummy to start a minigame is behind one of the four doors around the pyramid. Once you have found him, uh, let's talk to him. Select the first option, what do I do? Select the fourth option, I am ready to go. And he will take you to the first room. Let's turn our camera a little bit west and pass the spear trap by clicking on the wall. Next, let's search the grand chest because there's always a chance that we, we could get a Pharaoh Scepter for free. But to complete our 10th task, we will need to open the sarcophagus here located next to the southern wall. This uh, completely depends on your strength level, uh, how many attempts you will need to do uh, to open up this sarcophagus. Next, let's go back north, pass the spear trap once again. And then we just need to quick leave by right clicking the doom door. But what you also can do is just pause this guide and do a pyramid plunder run until your time runs out. Alright, next for our final task, let's go back uh, east. And now we'll need to go back behind the building which is uh, above the bank. And behind this building we should find a hole. Let's uh, go through the hole to get back to the Vandras cave. Next, let's go southeast and go to the pyramid plunder or the Agility Pyramid. Now we just need to give some Pyramid Plunder artifacts to this Simon Templeton NPC. Yes, show me the money. First option. And this will be task number 11 completed. Okay, for some odd reason, I have apparently not opened up a desert cactus to fill my water skin. But I was pretty sure I did that near the clay mine. But it isn't really a hard task to do, just near Shanty Pass there are a couple of healthy cacti. So hopefully it will work there as well. 
If you have completed all your tasks, let's just use your dual ring, teleport to back to the dual arena, run south to the Chantic Pass, and let's claim our reward. Okay, apparently you don't need to use your knife on it, but just you need to left click on it to cut and this will complete your task. I did not know that. Uh, let's go back to Chanty Pass. Let's talk to Jar to get our reward. Your first reward is, of course, with every easy task is an antique lamp, which gives you 2500 experience in any skill that you want. Then you also get the Desert Amulet number one. This amulet actually doesn't do anything. If you click the teleport option, it says that you will need to complete the medium tasks before you will be able to teleport. But, you, but what you do get is that the Pharaoh Scepter now holds four charges instead of three. Simon Templeton will now purchase banknote artifacts as well. And Desert Goat Horns will now be dropped in noted form. This was my guide how to complete the Desert Easy Achievement Diary tasks. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.